Hello and welcome to a video enrichment brought to you by the Eugene Family YMCA. My name is Amelia and I'm an after school teacher here at the Y and I'm here to lead you in an online at home enrichment activity. These activities are designed for you to use materials you have readily available at home. Thank you for tuning in and let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to another video enrichment activity. Today we will be setting up indoor bowling. This activity is meant to get you up and moving in your home. You can make your indoor bowling as large or as small as you would like. It all depends on the materials you choose and the space that you have. In order to create your indoor bowling setup, you will need 10 bowling pins. You can use 10 of anything that can stand on their own and be knocked over. You can use 10 empty soda cans, 10 shampoo bottles, 10 small boxes, or even 10 stuffed animals. Today I will be using what I found 10 of in my house, toilet paper tubes. For the ball, you can use any size ball you have in your home. I had this little round pig toy in my house, so that's what I'm going to use for the ball. Now once you have your bowling pins and your ball, you're ready to set up your bowling lane. So you can use any space as long as you have about three to five feet between you and the bowling pins. In order to set up the bowling pins, you're gonna put them in a triangle. You're gonna put four in the back, three in the next row, two in the next row, and one is the tip of the triangle. And once you have all of these set up, you're ready to go indoor bowling. Each player gets two chances to knock down all of the pins. If they knock them all down on the first try, they get a strike. If they knock down some of them on the first try and the rest on the second, they get a spare. Each bowling pin knocked down, you get one point. Add up the points at the end of 10 rounds and you'll see who won. Or you can just play for fun and not keep score. The point is to have fun, right? You are now ready to play your own indoor bowling game. Be sure to set up the pins for the next player after your turn, and also be aware of your surroundings when you're rolling your bowling ball. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed learning how to play indoor bowling. I hope you enjoyed this at-home enrichment project. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope that you join us next time for another online activity from the Eugene Family YMCA. Bye!